Yeah, well, I'd spent 10 years doing the Northern Ireland peace negotiations, and I really would appeal to the government not to go down this path. Uh, since 1991, when a Tory Secretary of State for Northern Ireland said that Britain would be neutral in Northern Ireland, not take the side of the Unionists, not take the side of the Nationalists, that we had no strategic, selfish interests in Northern Ireland, if we now find ourselves taking sides, how on earth are we going to mediate between the Unionists and the Nationalists when we're trying to establish government there? We have a political crisis there, but we really want to make the political crisis worse just so the government can stagger on. When you say not go down this path, do you mean not do a deal with the DUP as Yes, well? exactly. I mean, even John Major, at his weakest, when he was really struggling in the House of Commons, did not go into an alliance with the DUP because he did not want to be depending on the DUP and find himself unable to be even-handed in Northern Ireland. And we will not be seen as even-handed if we find ourselves in coalition or in support of the DUP or our friends in the DUP, as Prime Minister May has put it. And uh, certainly Mr Cameron didn't want to do a deal with the DUP either for other reasons, not least because of their views on gay marriage. But we are where we are, and it looks as though that's exactly what Mrs May is going to do. Uh, going to cause all sorts of problems as a result, not least because of negotiations with Sinn Féin. As we heard there from David, they are likely to leave the room if uh, we go along uh, that avenue. But also, if she doesn't, we're going to have to have another election, aren't we? Well, or there are other options for governments and other options for coalitions within the Parliament. But there's an additional problem, which is one of the three subjects the EU have put on the agenda for the initial negotiations on Brexit is the border between North and South. Now, the DUP takes a very different view about Brexit than all the other parties in Northern Ireland. All the other parties, including the un other Unionist Party, voted to remain in the EU. 57% of the people in Northern Ireland voted to remain in. So if we go into that negotiation with the DUP supporting the government, they're obviously going to be taking the DUP position on Northern Ireland in or out of, uh, of the EU. And that itself is going to lead to another problem. And we really don't want a political crisis in Northern Ireland. We've managed to keep Northern Ireland off the news pages pretty much since we negotiated the Good Friday Agreement. Do we really want to put it back there?